Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have a gameplay with the 97 overall God Squad. This team is absolutely stacked. So of course this was after I went ahead and spent a ton of coins doing a ginormous shopping spree and a bunch of team of the year players. So I decided to just hop in some head to head and record in case something were to happen. So I figured you guys might want to see this. I know a lot of people have been asking for a lot more gameplays and not necessarily just gameplays sticking around one or two people, but more so in general, just some more gameplay. So yes, this gameplay, uh, Tyreek Hill made a couple of plays, but more so this is going to be kind of about my entire team and just a couple of games that I played. But as you guys can see, here is in second 11, we hit George Kittle, pick up a first down right there. My team is absolutely stacked now with Tom Gurley at a 99 overall Kittle coming in with a 97 speed as Tyreek Hill unfortunately does drop that pass there on third and eight thought we might be able to hang on to that one unfortunately though he does uh drop that one as we come on the defense side of the ball hits the flats there and we make a little tackle second and seven coming up once again he hits the flats and kind of thought we were able to stop him there before he picked up the first down unfortunately we were not able to do so Right there. Next play, though, goes to the sideline, and he gets absolutely popped by Roquan Smith. Now, I do say, there's going to be two gameplays in this video as well, so it's a two-for-one. Let me know down below if you guys want me to start uploading a little bit more gameplays, even if it's not around just one particular player. Uh, I do happen to have a lot of the newer players on my team. Not saying I'm going to always have some of the newer players, but of course, when new players do come out, I like to do some gameplays with them so you guys can see exactly what they have and kind of showcase if you should pick them up for your team as we get a strip right there, but he does, unfortunately for us, kick it out of bounds. Luckily, though, it does not actually advance the ball because it did kick it out of bounds. Next play, hits the flats right there. Second and eight coming up. Coming in on the end of the first quarter, LT. Nice little tackle there. Thought maybe I should be able to get another strip animation. Sadly, we do not get another strip right there. Uh, third and four, though, he's going to be trying to scramble here. He does have Cam Newton, that quarterback, as well. We're chasing after him. Switch on, try to get the sack. And that one's just going to be thrown away. Fourth and four coming up. And it looks like he's going to be trying to scramble a little bit. Throws it into the end zone. Deion Sanders with the interception. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, luckily for him, anyways, does tackle me right there. And we were not able to make anything out of that. Todd Gurley breaking off some tackles in the backfield. Gurley, honestly, has been like the best running back in the game for me by far. I don't think any other running back even compares. As we find Kittle, that's why you need to have Playmaker on basically everybody out there on the field. I have Playmaker on every single wide receiver. I'm, or let's just say the first three wide receivers on my team. Unfortunately, Amari Cooper cannot get Playmaker. Uh, he can, but I also put deep route running on him, so he's not going to get that. As Tyreek Hill makes a nice little catch right there with someone hanging all over him. Fired out there to Tyreek Hill in the flats and pick up a first. And I kind of saw he was sending a blitz right there, and I figured Anthony Barr would not be able to get there. Now, this play is actually kind of interesting. I came out in Gun Monster, and I didn't know you could actually change, uh, change the play when you came out in the monster formation. We switched to wide receiver screen. Randy Moss gets in for the touchdown there. I actually, I believe last year was the first year monster was introduced as a play. And you couldn't make any sort of audibles out of that. So I, did, I thought we were going to be stuck there with the inside zone. And he kind of switched everyone around. So he knew it was going to be a run. Didn't know we could do that. But that play was pretty fun, and honestly, I've been having a lot of fun using this new Titans playbook. A lot of people have told me to use the Panthers, Titans, so I'm trying out the Titans one. I might also try the Panthers playbook. I originally was running the Saints, but I wanted to switch it up and see what exactly I could get going with Michael Vick, Todd Gurley, find some new passing plays, and just kind of make the game a little bit more interesting for me uh, with a bunch of new formations, a bunch of new plays. As third and goal comes up, he's chugging it over the receiver's head right there. Cam Newton, not the most accurate uh, when it comes to high point fades. Fourth and goal, and once again, 
And he goes right over the receiver. Might have had a touchdown there for any Moss. Could have got a little bit glitchy. Uh, the first time we check it up to Tyree Kill. Trying to go for the aggressive catch there. So I guess sometimes you go for the aggressive catch in traffic. It's going to bounce off his hands. And he ends up getting an interception and a field goal out of it. But we get the interception right back with champ bailey to start off the second half bailey making a nice little play right there try to hand the ball here to todd Gurley. hit the outside hit a spin move and we also try to hit another spin move which does work but unfortunately our fullback decides to not block deon sanders go after somebody else back of the end zone here to randy moss and that's going to be an easy touchdown for us and our opponent actually does end up quitting there so that is the end of the first gameplay heading into the second this is actually versus a subscriber as well you guys will see at the end of the game uh, I sent him a middle message, sent me a message, but first play of the game, try to screw him outside the pocket here, our opponent does, and he's going to end up getting hit, and that one's going to be an incompletion there for Michael Big, so we know he likes to scramble around quite a bit, tries to throw it to the flats there, picks up a couple of yards, I believe that's Todd Gurley, uh, at the back, you know, might actually just not be seen right there, might be Ricky Williams, can't really see it too well there, but goes deep down the sideline, and I actually thought he was going to actually torch us there, Deion Sanders made a very nice play to break down, went up fourth down, over the middle, and luckily for us, Sean Taylor knocks that ball loose. So third and six coming up with our first possession. Probably should have scrambled here a little bit. I mean, he does have a QB spot. Might have been to make something happen, though. But Jerry Rice comes back to the ball, and we end up picking up the first down right there. Third and 12. See if maybe we can make our way down the end zone. And I don't know if you guys saw it. I want to rewind it if you didn't. But Tyreek Hill was wide open in the end zone. I tried to high point it. I guess because I was running into my offensive lineman at the same time, not on purpose, of course, uh, the ball just kind of went flat. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. But second and 70 does a little weird motion to the right side with Todd Gurley or Ricky Williams. Again, can't really see who it is, but he, he motions the right side with his running back as he hits someone right there. Tries to run the ball here. Actually, that is, in fact, uh, Ricky Williams. That is not Todd Gurley. It just seems like a lot of people have the new Todd Gurley already, which is pretty crazy. But a lot of the games that I've played... A ton of people have that new team of the year, Todd Gurley. Second and 13. Once again, he's chugging up the sideline to that deep route. We were all over that. Deion Sanders might have actually gotten called for pass interference there if that was real life. As he actually picks up the first down there in third and 13. Nice little read there to his running back. And again, he's running another play action. Hitting the flats. I believe that's Franco Harris. And we get that weird animation, which I really don't like that at all. It shows it's a fumble, but then you actually never end up getting the interception. As on second and seven, he once again... Picks it up to his running back. Third and six coming up, though. It looks like he's running a little bit of a scramble, maybe to the right side. We do have a QB spy set up, and he ends up getting hit, and that one's going to be incomplete. Thought we might have actually got the interception there if DeMarcus Square would have just, like, stuck his hand out and picked it off. It would have been very, very nice right there. As we get some pressure, and that's going to be a legal touching. So we do get the ball back right there. Three and a half minutes left in the second quarter, handing the ball to Todd Gurley once again. And that one's not really going anywhere. He's doing a pretty good job of slowing down Gurley, which is very, very hard to do. Kittle's wide open there. And again, picking up that first down. Team of the Week Kittle was pretty solid for me. But I got to say, Team of the Year Kittle has been excellent. And I think it definitely, definitely has to do something with that uh, 97 speed instead of the Team of the Week. We had 92, which was pretty good. But once you have him powered up, and of course you have Sprinter, John Madden, 97 speed is pretty freaking deadly as we have all day long in the pocket you're trying to find someone who's trying to reroute someone jerry rice and unfortunately he does not come down with that one that would have been a very very nice play there if he actually would have been a completion but second and ten we're standing in the pocket here trying to take off and we actually find todd Gurley open hit a spin and that is going to be another touchdown right there good little play there from todd Gurley. i absolutely love that card in the past game blocking game running game best running back in the game if you guys are trying to decide if you should pick up Todd Gurley or not I think they're about to start releasing a bunch of 99 overall running backs as a great user lurk right there for myself I'll pat myself on the back right there for that user pick of Roquan Smith hit a little spin move and we hit the outside with Todd Gurley unfortunately I did tiptoe uh up the sideline there because I was pretty stupid and decided not just cut back a little bit more left. Hit the flats once again. But they are about to start releasing like a bunch of 99 overall running backs. But for the time being, that girly card is crazy. As what an insane touchdown catch there from Randy Moss for that score. To put us up 17 to nothing with about a minute left about to head into halftime. As whew, 
we got very, very lucky right there. That definitely should have been a completion. Some some uh, crap to help me. I guess he was throwing me a bone a little bit this game. Third and four coming out of the thought for sure. He was actually going to try and run the ball there as he tries to scramble outside the pocket. But once again, man, we just have pressure all over him. Champ Bailey getting that interception. Kind of a weird animation there for him. He didn't really get much luck there at all. Uh, but 20 seconds left. We're going to try to make something out of this. Maybe attempt to go down the field. Get maybe a field goal out of this if we can. As Jerry Rice gets popped and does not end up coming down with that one. Try to go to the sidelines over here to B as it lags a little bit. And Jerry Rice is coming down with that catch. Down the 37 yard line with three seconds left. We decided to just hand it off to Top Girl to see if maybe we can make something happen. Hit up about 15 yards and unfortunately get tackled get no points up 17 nothing though starting off the second half we decide to chug it deep to Tyreek Hill and that one was very sadly intercepted so 99 speed apparently is not really 99 speed even though it looked like he had a footstep to me uh, but first, he's trying to scramble here with Michael Vick. Actually managed to elude the pass rush. But what an interception there from Sean Taylor. Thought for sure that would have been open. And if he would have touched past that or maybe lobbed it, he probably would have got that completion because he decided to bullet it. That did not work out for him. As Tyreek Hill is taking this one the distance. Tyreek Hill, man. All you got to do, break one tackle. If it's free space, he is absolutely good gone so a great play there from Tyreek Hill to make the score 24 to nothing coming up towards the end of the third quarter we get another hit Khalil Mack actually picks that one off and that's going to be a defensive touchdown for me that's what I was talking about earlier with DeMarcus Ware might have been able to do that but instead he didn't put his hands up as we get another interception here on the next third down for the user pick and our opponent does end up quitting but he didn't send me a message so shout out to you my man hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you go ahead and smack the like button on the video and sub if you guys did enjoy and if you guys want to see some more gameplays let me know down below what other gameplays you guys want to see hope you enjoyed I'll see you guys next time